Hello friends and welcome to chapel today. Let's start off by singing our favorite song, This is the Day. This is the day. Welcome, friends, to chapel time today. Again, my name is Pastor Rob, and I'm so happy to get to be with you guys. And let's say hello to all of our friends. And before we say hi to our friends, let's say hi to our very special friend, Pip the Penguin. Pip, wave and say hi. Ah, oh, Pip has loved this cold weather. It makes him feel like he is at home in the cold and in the snow. But we're going to say hello to all of our preschool friends today. So let's say hello to the panda friends. And hello to our toucan friends. And hello to our koala friends. And hello to our giraffe friends. Well, do I have something good for us to think about today. Remember, we've been talking about the big God story, about the God who made everything. Remember, we talked about the God who made the sun, the moon, and all the stars of the sky. Remember the God who made the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and all the plants and every single animal and the God who made you and the God who made me. Remember, that very same God was the God who picked a very special family, the family of Abraham. And through Abraham's family, the whole world was going to get to know about God. Remember, too, how Abraham's family ended up as slaves in Egypt. And when we talk about things in the Bible that, you know, are kind of difficult for us to understand and are hard for us to hear, we'll say this. I want you to repeat after me. It wasn't fair, it wasn't right, but that's what happened. And we'll remember this, that God had a very special plan. Touch your head like this, like he, God was thinking of a very special plan and his plan was to rescue his people out of slavery and he was gonna use a very special person to help lead them out. That person's name was Moses. Now last week we talked about that journey that Moses and Abraham's family, the Israelites, had across the desert. Remember, they had run away from Pharaoh's army. Pharaoh's army had been defeated. And now they were on their way to the promised land, the land that God had promised to Abraham and all his family. So they were going across the desert. And remember last week we talked about those starting to get hungry. Oh, do you remember when times maybe when you've been hungry and you've wanted a snack and maybe you've gotten a little grumpy because you really needed a snack. Well, God's people were hungry in the desert and they complained to God. And here's what God did. God gave them food. Remember, we talked about the manna and the quail that God would give them every day so they could fill their tummy full of food because God is a provider and God gives them everything that they needed. We remember that we could learn from the story of the Israelites as well, that God didn't just provide for them so many years ago, God provides for us too. God provides all the food that we eat. God provides all the shelter that we live in. God provides all the clothing that we get to wear as well. And when we think about Every good thing that God gives us. If 
fact, let's pause for a second here because I want you to remember this point. God gives us every good thing. So when you think about every good thing in your life, it could be the love of your parents or family members. It could be your very favorite food. It could be maybe with the rainstorms we had over the weekend, maybe you saw a rainbow and it reminded you of God. Every good thing that we enjoy comes from God. And God gives us what we need. And we remember, tap your, tap your mind like this, tap your head, that we remember that God provides for us. In fact, Jesus talked about that too in the Bible, and I've got my Bible right here. This is one of my very favorite books because the Bible tells us all these stories of God. And I want to share with you some words of Jesus because Jesus talked about how God gives us everything and we don't even need to worry about it because God's a provider. Jesus says this, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body or about what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Jesus is saying this, God takes care of the birds. They never are worrying about where they have anything to eat because they can remember that God provides for them. And we can learn a lesson from the birds as well, knowing that God provides for us. We're going to stand on up. Let's sing some songs today. We're going to sing some of our favorites this week that we've been singing over the last couple weeks. So this first one, let's get our muscles ready. Let's see them nice and big because we're going to sing Our God is So Great. Here we go. Our God is so great. Let's give it a go. Our God is so great. Jesus is king of the jungle. Ooh, ooh. Jesus is king of the sea. 
have a seat, friends. Well, friends, it is great that we can celebrate ew, all of our birthdays today. All of these birthdays we're going to celebrate. So if it is your birthday, we're going to sing for you right now at home. And let's get Pip. Pip's going to get in on this, and we're going to sing happy birthday on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. May God bless and keep you. Happy birthday to you. Well, happy birthday, friend. The God who made the sun, the moon, all the stars of the sky, the God who made you, the God who made me, the God who rescued and saved his people, the Israelites, out of slavery in Egypt, and the God who provided for their every need in the, in the desert, and the God who provides for our every need as well, wants to hear from us today. So we're going to get ready to pray. I have five fingers here and five fingers there. Let's put them together and say a quiet prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us to love one another. Today we thank you that you love us so very much that you provide for our every need. We don't have to worry about it because you give it to us. So Lord God, thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, friends. See you next week.